Fact 1. The Dodgers were bounced from the NLDS by the Mets Thursday night. Fact 2. They made the playoffs for the third straight season and were bounced before the World Series for the third straight season. Fact 3. The Dodgers have the top payroll in all of baseball and it's not particularly close. Fact 4. Manager Don Mattingly is an old school manager who many new school baseball minds believe makes questionable decisions when it comes to bunting, late game personnel moves, dealing with the bullpen and starting lineups. Fact 5. Club president Andrew Friedman and general manager Fonzadi are analytically inclined, new school baseball minds. We can do the math here, right? I can just imagine Game 5's late decisions unfolding in front of Friedman and Zadie's faces. Mattingly double switches Argelis into the spot due to hit second in the ninth inning. He pinch hits for Jock Pedersen with Chase Utley. On surface, you have perfectly justifiable moves. Ellis brought in a long postseason hitting streak while Pedersen has a terrible batting average since the All-Star break. Look deeper, though. The Dodgers were only down by one run. Leading off with Pedersen you need one of two things, get on base or hit a home run. Pedersen's second half on base percentage was still .317. He'd already drawn two walks in Game 5. Utley had a .291 ob since joining the Dodgers. Pedersen was more likely to get on base. Plus, Utley only hit 8 homers all year. Pedersen has light tau power and hit 26 homers, 6 coming in the second half. Pedersen was more likely to homer, too. Whether the leadoff man gets on base or not, wouldn't everyone rather take their chances with the dynamic talent that is Yasio Puig than Ellis? Puig didn't have a good season, but he's still immensely talented and most would rather have him in the box with the season on the line than Ellis. This was a microcosm for decisions Mattingly makes on a nightly basis. Now, make no mistake about this, Mattingly didn't lose the NLDS for the Dodgers. The players did. It's just that he's a whole other manager from a previous regime who the front office probably doesn't see eye to eye with. And Game 5 provides the impetus this front office needed, and probably desired, to ask Mattingly from his post in favor of someone similar to Joe Madden who was Friedman's skipper in Tampa Bay. We should soon learn the fate of Mattingly and what's next for both him and the Dodgers, but as of right now, it doesn't look too good from here for Donny Baseball to be back in La.